Hello Internet, it is me, the man and in today's video we're going to talk about how to fix a somewhat common problem that can occur in mechanical keyboards, particularly recently purchased ones. The problem is where you will press a key a single time and it will double register or double type the key that you pressed, as well as having issues registering holding the key down. This can of course make typing words very frustrating and also make playing a video game almost impossible if one of your WASDA keys uh, is affected and your character will just kind of stop and start over and over and over again and just not move in the direction you are pressing. All right, first I would just like to preface this video by saying, if it is in fact a recently purchased keyboard and you are able to relatively easily return or exchange it for a new one, uh, consider doing that because that would be the most straightforward way to get a non-affected keyboard and this problem can persist and come back later. Uh, but if you are unable to or don't want to return it, uh, let's get into how to fix it. Now, while understanding what's causing the issue is not critical to fixing it in this case, just so you know, what has most likely happened is that there is a, s a very small amount of dust or some kind of foreign particle that is inside the switch itself. This can even occur while it's being manufactured, and that is interfering with the keyboard registering your keystrokes. Now, while the method is relatively simple, you will need a couple things, most notably among them 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. This is electronic cleaner grade alcohol. Do not use 50 or 70% rubbing alcohol from the dollar store or Walmart. There is enough impurities there that it could lead to damaging your electronics. The other thing that will be handy but is not necessary uh, is a mechanical keyboard key remover. You may already have one of these. It may have come with your mechanical keyboard depending on what kind you bought. If not, they're really cheap on Amazon. However, they're not necessary. And as long as you're able to pry the keys off with your fingers, that'll work too. All right, the first step, as obvious as this may sound, is to unplug your keyboard. You can technically do this procedure with the keyboard plugged in, but unplugging it just nullifies any form of risk. And if you're able to, you may as well. All right, first remove the keycap of the affected key and all the surrounding keys in order to give yourself a clear workspace. All right, at this moment, I would just like to say that while pouring 99.9% .9 alcohol into your keyboard is almost completely safe, in rare instances, this can result in damage to some keyboards. So before we do that, what you should do uh, is press down on the exposed switch, which will open it, and take a can of compressed air and blow that straight into the switch a couple times. Uh, at that point, then plug your keyboard back in, test it. Uh, if that fixed it, which it can, great. You don't have to watch the rest of the video. If it's still persisting with the issue, uh, let's carry on to the alcohol. All right, so what you're going to want to do is take a small quantity of the alcohol. If you have an eyedropper or a syringe, that's great. Fill it up. Otherwise, you can pour some into the cap of the bottle itself. Now you're going to want to press down on the exposed switch, preferably using a pencil or a stylus so you don't get your grubby finger in the way. Then you're going to want to pour or inject the alcohol straight into the open switch. Now with these see-through switches on this keyboard, you can really see it fill up. That's great. That's what you want to do. Now, what you're going to want to do is press on the switch several times. You can use the keycap, so again, you're not pressing it with your dirty finger. Uh, this will slosh the alcohol all around through the key switch uh, and hopefully get those particles out. Now, all you have left to do is let the keyboard dry, preferably overnight or at least for a few hours to really make sure all the alcohol will evaporate. Since you're using 99.9%, .9%, uh, the alcohol should evaporate entirely and leave no residue behind whatsoever. Uh, and after that, plug in your keyboard and check to see if the issue is still there. If it is, uh, the only thing I can say is try it again. Um, and if that still doesn't work, this may not be the issue causing it. It may not be dirt at all. It may in fact be a faulty switch, in which case there's nothing I can do for you, unfortunately, and you really should try to return the keyboard. And that's it. Uh, it is a very easy and straightforward and not very time consuming method to fix the issue. Uh, you may find once you fixed it in one switch, it may pop up in another switch, in which case just reproduce uh, the procedure in that affected switch. Other than that, I hope that this video helped you solve your issue. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again on some other stuff that I do on this channel real soon. Goodbye. <laughs>